Jason Mormon. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, men's wrestling season is right around the corner here. It starts on Saturday at the Citadel Open. Um, and you, you're newly named the men's coach. You've been the women's coach here for the last five years after helping the men out as an assistant coach. How has that transition gone this fall and into that, into that role as a men's coach this year? It's, it's gone pretty well. You know, I think that you know, change is always uh, can be difficult for, for a lot of people. And um, you know, the whole transition, you know, trying to get uh, the men's team to kind of buy into your philosophy and, and what you're hoping to build and, and establish. And so it's, uh, you know, there's not a lot of changes since I've been here, you know, the whole time and kind of be able to help out. But, um, and so it's been a pretty smooth transition. That's good to hear. Um, coming off of a pretty solid year last year, went seven to six in duels, had a couple guys finish six in regional, just missing a spot in the NCAA championships. Can you talk about how the practice has gone, how the preparation is going this year, and what the team's looking like? Uh, the team, in my opinion, is looking really, really good. Um, you know, the guys are just, they've really bought in to what we've been kind of uh, bringing forth. And just every day, you can see the, uh, the motivation and the drive. Um, they, they work hard in the off season with their lifting and things like that. And um, their, the, the technique and the things that we're, we're covering in practice, we're seeing them, uh, you know, executing it in live and, and, and stuff like that. So it's, uh, you know, they, they look, they look really, really good. We got a good group. I'm sure they're excited to see some other competition here this weekend too. Yeah, they're they're tired wrestling each other, so uh, that's that's one thing they're constantly talking about. They're they're really chomping a bit to get you know get a competition. Yeah, a couple of those guys that seem to be a top of our seniors in Trevor Wayne, who registered last year, and Garrett Fosdick, who. Is in the, the regional rankings this week. That just came out a couple days ago. Who won 25 and 14 last year at heavyweight? Um, how are they looking this year? I'm sure they're probably excited to get their senior year under the way. Yeah, they, they, they're looking really well. I mean, they, you know, they're they're being challenged by you know, uh, other guys in the ring, which is great. Um, so they're they're stepping up to that challenge and pushing themselves every day. And you know, their their goal is to get to nationals and, and fight to be an all American. So um, we're, we're going to take it one event at a time, but. Um, you know, they're, they're definitely uh, taking advantage of this their last year. Yeah, and then in the last year, too, King was pretty young, had a lot of freshmen competing in the normal lineup. How do you think that's going to help after getting that experience with the freshman year going into their soft, sophomore year for that group? I think it's going to help tremendously. You know, uh, that first year is, is always the hardest, you know, uh, when you're in college period, but especially as a wrestler and a student athlete. Um, so now that they kind of uh, got the one year under the belt, um, they've come in and know know what they need to do um, and, and we, we do have we, we do have a young team but um, right now they're, they're training and, and hopefully they'll compete like their juniors and seniors. Is there anyone in that group that you're looking kind of have, have a start of year had, is having a, a good fall in practice so far? Yeah, yeah th I, the first two that come to mind you know is um, uh, Eldon Valeri he's uh, he, he, he works so hard in the off season he, he, he's so strong and he's in great condition he's trying a lot of different things trying to be a very multi-dimensional wrestler um, and then uh, Frankie Tomey uh, he, he he's probably one of the hardest workers in, in the room so um, he's, he's pushing the pace and, and challenging himself uh, you know against a bunch of different guys in the room and you know he it's very clear his goals are as well so yeah that's, that's good to see um, along with this returning group here uh, there's a solid class of freshmen and newcomers coming in can you talk about that group and what you're looking out of them here this fall? Yeah, I say um, you know we do have uh, we have transfer come in from uh, who's a freshman at NC State last year, Michael Perez. Um, he's actually going to be redshirting this year, um, and then we have John Boatman, the 125 pound weight class. Um, I think he's a two-time Tennessee State champ, um, and then uh, Cody Eichlin, that 174 pound weight class from New Jersey, uh, New Jersey State qualifier. Both those guys are just. Um, it, it, you know, there's a there's a transition period when you're a freshman. You got a lot to learn. Um, these guys are learning very quickly. So I mean, they're, we're really excited to see get them on the mat and see how, how they're going to do. And and we also have a couple guys that transferred in. Uh, Landon Reed, who came in from UTC, uh, he had to sit out for one year. So he's going to be able to compete in the opens unattached and uh, and hopefully be ready to go uh, in January when we start a dual schedule. But uh, again, you know, he's he's in shape. And He's looking really, really tough. Yeah, and then going to the schedule, it starts out with a whole bunch of opens this fall. The King Open is on November 23rd here in the Student Center. Then it shifts into dual meets in the spring, uh, a whole bunch of those, a few at home, against a pretty solid region here that we're in in the Southeast region. Um, can you kind of talk about the, the progression of the season and how that leads up to the NCAA Super Regionals and then 
uh, championships, hopefully? Yeah, the, the good thing about the Open tournaments is that, you know, it's a chance to, you know, get to see a lot of different competition from a lot of different divisions, but also, you know, we get to really push the, you know, where the guys are executing and, and trying to push some of the things that we're working on that we're learning. Uh, in these opens, and then hopefully we can make the adjustments when we need to and continue to learn. And then, uh, you know, after Christmas and when we get into the spring semester, where we start really seeing more of the teams that we're going to see in the region. And so we're fighting for those duels, and we're also fighting for seeding. And um, you know, hopefully, you know, the way we have it uh, mapped out, you know, we'll be peaking at the right time when come Super Regionals. Yeah, that, that's usually the plan, I guess. Um, this weekend, open up first meet of the year at uh, at the Citadel Open on Saturday. Uh, what are you trying to gain out of this and what are you trying to learn from the team and how everyone competes on Saturday? Uh, you know, like we just talked about in practice yesterday, um, we're, we should go in and we, we need to be competing to, to win the tournament. I mean, every individual is going in and, the, and their goal is to win, um, you know, not just to get some experience. And, you know, we're, we're kind of, we're talking, we're training right now like we've got a little bit of a chip on our shoulder. We, you know, uh, this has been a good program in the past and the last few years, you know, we're probably haven't had the results that you know that the team has had the potential to have, and uh, and, and the region rankings came out. I think we're next to last, which we're which we love. We're excited about because we know we know it's going to be different. And we know we have a ladder to climb, and we're excited about doing that. So yeah, I mean the guys just uh, I mean they're extremely motivated. So we're we're going in to win. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, everyone's always excited to start the season. And Sounds like a fun year in Wednesday wrestling coming up this year. Uh, open up on Saturday at the Citadel Open, home on the 23rd, the King Open here in the Student Center in November, and then a whole bunch of home duels in the spring. Hope to see you out here at the Student Center. Uh, thanks for joining us, and good luck this year. All right, thanks for having me.